Oh, um, sorry, um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> like millions of other people, I've kind of become addicted to Pokemon Go that's recently come out. Uh, so that's, uh, we'll talk more about that later, I think. Let's just, uh, no, let's, let's just leave it alone for now, yeah. Hey there, internets. I'm Michael, and this is To Can Play That Game. With another Diaries of a Newbie YouTuber, this time for Monday the 18th, 18th of July, 2016. So, what's been going on in my week? Well, I managed to get seven videos done. There was an unboxing of Ember here. Uh, so, if you want to find out what's in this pretty little card game, uh, then take a look at that. There was also two uh, Game Night in Review videos. These were the last of my videos, of first impression videos of games that I tried at the Expo. And that was Dark Deeds and The Football Game. So Dark Deeds is very much, you know, you're skulking down back alleys, robbing people, stabbing them, etc. If you're interested, check that out. Um, the Football Game is, well, it's about football. You're managing a football team for a league trying to put be in the best position you can be at the end of the season. Um, what else we got? We got four reviews done this week. So, first up we had Waggle Dance, which is this dice placement game with a um, bee theme, where you're trying to be the hive that produces the required amount of honey the fastest. So, nice little game, I really like it. Uh, check out my review on that. It's one I have added to my collection. The next one we had was oh, this giant filled box here. It's quite weighted, there's a lot in here. A mass of dragons. So, those of you who like your Ameritrash rolling massive handfuls of dice, this might be one for you. You can become a dragon, gather your horde. And then what else we got? We got uh, Sugi, I did, which is this one here. And in Sugi, you are all controlling these five spirits. And each of you has three spirits that you want to get to the end first. Only the first three spirits will count. And you might have spirits in common with the other players, you might have different ones. And the way you're doing this is with programming, but it's joined programming. So you're all moving the same pieces to try and get them to the end or slow them down, move them around. There's special powers thrown in there. Lovely little game. You might want to check that out. And then the final one was this tiny little box, Stackbots. Lovely little card game, this one. Um, I was blown away by this. Really enjoy it. Um, added to my collection without a doubt. Um, as has Sugi, to be honest, that got added without any doubt, any hesitation. I really love them. Um, but this one, just so easily playable, uh, works quite nicely for quite a varied player number. And yeah, it's just so easy to just crack a game open, be done in 10 minutes. Nice little filler card game. And then the final thing I'm going to talk about in all of these boxes all over here is this one here. Deathbot. Derby. So I didn't do a video for this one yet, but this is the newest arrival. I only had one arrival this week to review. Um, I'm looking forward to giving it a go. It's from Royal End Games. And uh, yeah, it's about, um, basically it's Robot Wars the game, but two player. So looking forward to that one. Hope you are too. So that's my week kind of covered there, um, except for um, no, uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, except for the addiction issue, but I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. Um, so, I have actually got a Q&A question, you know. Uh, it's something I wanted to do, introduce a QA. and a If you do have any questions you want to ask me, um, then do feel free to let me know, and then I can include my answer in my weekly diaries video, like I'm doing here. So, the question I had was from Mike H, and it was, what is my favourite game? And the answer to this is, without a doubt for me, Arcadia Quest. Now, this is definitely not a game that will appeal to everyone. However, I absolutely love it. It's really surprising that I love it so much because it is rather mean. It can be extremely mean, extremely luck heavy, 
but I love the miniatures, I love the dungeon crawl nature of it, but without the dungeon crawl, you've got your little team and it's, you know, just an hour here, an hour there, and it builds up nicely, the drafting of the equipment, so much great stuff in this game for me, and so that, yeah, is why I love Arcadia Quest, and it is my favourite game without a doubt. So, that's uh, probably enough of that, let's just... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry if you can tell that I'm sweating. It's it's really hot here, and then I've added in bright lights into that equation. Really bad mix. Ugh, right. Uh, so let's move on to the figures. So where are we this week? Well, let's start with Facebook. We're at 25 weeks, and we have 1,385 likes. So, okay, it's gone up, not by much, but it's gone up, so that's good. Uh, Twitter, 28 weeks, 6,986, which just can't quite reach that 7k mark, but you know, we're moving there, we're going to get there. This has actually broken the trend, um, the followers, for this week, because every other figure, the growth has gone down this week. This one has actually gone up, um, not by a lot, but it's gone up. YouTube, we are at 39 weeks of having this channel going, which is fantastic. I'm loving it. I, I want to keep going as long as I possibly can, which may be till I'm bankrupt, but we shall see. Uh, so views, 41,633, which if you follow the figures, you know is below where I want it to be this week. Because I'm currently aiming at around 2k. Uh, and yeah, I've fallen short of that, but not by a huge amount. It's around 1,800, so a couple hundred short. Um, yeah, uh, it could be worse. I'll talk more in a little while about why I think all of this is happening. So uh, then subs, 1,770. I really don't know what's happened with the subs this week. Um, it's gone up slightly. Um, yeah, it's been very frozen. I keep just, I've I, I, quite a lot of days this week, I've actually had negative subscribers. I've lost more than I've gained. I'm not sure why. And uh, yeah, so let's talk more about that. Reasons I think the figures are the way they are. Now, one big factor that's kind of had a huge impact on a lot of aspects of society and on me personally, which is why I'm all sunburn. You might not be able to tell on the camera though, and uh, um, is uh, yeah, Pokemon Go, the new mobile phone app uh, for Pokemon whereby you are catching Pokemon out in the real world. Highly addictive, highly, highly addictive. I'm really enjoying it though, and unfortunately so are millions of other people, which is causing server issues, which does make it sometimes hard to get on. But what it's also meaning is that People who would often be sat watching board games, playing board games, you know, watching my videos, are off getting exercise. And I, I really want to be annoyed by this because it means I'm not getting the views, but it's just so good for everyone. You know, I, I'm, I'm including myself in this. You know, I did like a huge amount more exercise in the last week than I normally would have done. And it's because of this app. And that is only a good thing. And so anyone who is hating on people liking this, you know, especially if you're watching this, that means you're into board games and you must get annoyed when people go, oh, you kid playing with games. And then people are doing the same to people playing Pokemon Go. They really shouldn't. You know, you should never belittle anyone for their interests and hobbies. And especially when it's having a positive impact on their life. It's helping people's mental health, fitness, you know, so many different aspects. So yeah, I'm really, um, despite the fact that I think that is negatively impacting the channel, a pro goer. And then we have, what else? Uh, I think maybe summer holidays have started, at least here in the UK. You know, schools have started breaking up, people going away a lot. And I have found during half terms, etc., you know, where in other school holidays, that it does cause a dip. So I'm wondering if maybe there is a summer dip anyway in the board game kind of media. If anyone's been doing this long enough and is watching this to actually have any opinions on that, uh, I, I really want to hear your feedback. Do you normally see during the summer a uh, lol? Um, because that's what I think might be happening, you know. Weather's nice, people are going out more, they're playing games less. 
But that's one possibility. These are all just theories. I have no idea, really. And that's part of why I'm doing this, kind of get people talking about it, get more open discussion about this kind of facts and figures. Um, other factors, I didn't really have any big games, you know, I might have loved a lot of these games, you know, Sugi, Stackbots, Waggle Dance, I really loved those games, they've been added to my collection, but none of those have performed well in, on the videos, whether that's because it's quiet or because basically these aren't that hugely known games, they're not for the most part, I mean Sugi's relatively new, Stackbots is from like 2013, Waggle Dance I think 2013, 2014, you know there's no big explosive new releases there and those tend to be what get people watching. Um, which then says, what were the views coming from if they weren't coming from the videos I did this week? Well, the usual suspects really, you've got your Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu first impressions, Psy first impressions, none getting huge you know, hits, but they're getting hits, you know, they get, I think they've had like 50 views each in the last week, then the typical evergreens, you know, Boss Monster, um, oh, Super Dungeon Explore Forgotten King is the other evergreen that just keeps, you know, clocking up a good 50 odd views a week. Um, added to that, again, the Ravens of Fry, so Hashtree has done really well again this week. No idea what's going on there. Maybe it's hitting into that evergreen category now. If so, that's good. The more videos I get there, the better. Um, so, yeah, that's everything I want to say. Um, as usual, do the whole joining, subscribing, etc. Help support the channel any way you can. I mean, air, commenting, sharing, etc. all helps other people see the channel, spread the channel, and that then helps the channel grow, which will mean when I do seek funding, it will help. And it will also help me get better games. Or not get better games, get bigger games. Because a lot of the games I get sent, they might not be well-known games, but they're still really nice games. Um, so yeah, that's it from me. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.